user. Walford E20, the fictional London home for popular soap EastEnders. But what if one of its biggest stars stepped off the square into the real world? Actress Rita Simons, who plays feisty East End landlady Roxy Mitchell, is about to find out. Welcome to the real world. Going back. She'll be given three days training. It's got a bit of a head on it. Before running an East End boozer on her own. I've got no idea what I'm doing. Oh, they look awful. Will the experience help Rita make Roxy a more believable character? Big smile in face. I'm so tired, I can't even think straight. Can a soap opera queen cope when the story isn't scripted? Keep the noise down or you're all out. To prove it's not all an act, she'll need to turn in a profit. Me and Matt don't really get along. But handing the pub to an actress could bring it to its knees. That is how Roxy would behave. It is not how I would behave. Roxy Mitchell arrived on Albert Square with a bang back in 2007. We left Ibiza for this. Because Roxy is a fun time girl, it's always just fun to play her. Roxy's quite a fiery sort of character. You just don't want to get into an arm wrestling match with her. Dangerous. Fiery. Mouthy. Why don't you loosen that knicker elastic and try cracking a smile? And a temptress. Roxy's novel way of running the Queen Vic meant she quickly became the nation's favourite barmaid. But how does actress Rita Simons compare? Just ask her uncle, who happens to be Hackney's most famous son. Ever since I remember her as a kid, you know, she was always up to something or other, you know, and uh, very, very determined, and she's got a very, very strong will. It is her, I mean, that, that's her nature, and that's why I think they cast her like that. <laughs> I'm extremely hyperactive, extremely loud. When I am on a roll having a laugh, I annoy everybody. <laughs> but there is that much more sensitive side to me that people never expect me to have. Rita lives with her family in Elstree, Hertfordshire. My life is like a whirlwind. I've got four-year-old twin girls. I've got two mad dogs. <laughs> I'm just permanently sorting out the kids, learning my lines, going to work, sorting out the kids, learning my lines, going to work. And it never really stops. Right, I've got to go on set now, so leave me alone. At work, Rita is busy shooting the reopening of the Queen Vic. Hi, please. As an actress, Rita has spent the last three years playing a barmaid who breaks the rules. Tequila shots on the house, starting with me. But does she even know what the job entails? They didn't give us any training on when we started these tenders. Nothing. We just had to kind of find our way around the bar. She doesn't really work in a pub. She acts like she works in a pub. So that doesn't qualify her to be a good landlady. I don't even have to pull a pint. <laughs> that is all about to change. I have agreed to take Roxy from Wolford and place her in the real world. So I'm going to be running a pub in the real world. I like this one. To understand her character better, Rita has decided it's time for a reality check. Yeah, my pub, isn't it? It would be such a perfect time to step outside of, of Elstree and to a real job. I'm not going into this acting. I'd like to think that I'm just going into this as me. If she can successfully complete three days training, Rita will take over a real East End boozer for a whole weekend. If it was all to run exactly true to form, I should set the pub on fire. Uh, so I might do that. don't know. Depends how bored I am. But it's a real business, with real owners depending on it. Hi, Rita. Hello, you all right? I'm Howard. How are you? I'm going to be in the Oh, week. great. Then what should you let yourself in for? <laughs> Rita doesn't have a clue where she's going, or if she's got what it takes to step out from behind her character and
and do the job for real. When you put someone outside of their comfort zone, anything can happen, so we'll see. I don't envy having to serve people, especially when they're indulging in alcohol. Cleaning up, like cleaning up beer and stuff like that. Oh, no, don't, don't know about that. I worry about her. I, I, I worry. No, I worry about the Panthers. I, I worry about it. I worry. I'm just worried, really. <laughs>